Well, hello, my YouTube family. It is Friday. Thank you, sweet Jesus. That's all I have to say. And let's just let's just get it out there because already I, I have uh, followers. Yes. I have joined the Twitterverse, people. I've joined the Twitterverse. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. And I just I just now got somebody who's following me. I don't know who this person is. Like, why why is he following me? I don't have a clue. And he's from Sweden. He I right, but you know. <laughs> like, can you just follow anybody? Like, how, how did he find me? I don't know who this person is. I just sent him a message. I'm like, thank you for following me, but do we know each other? Like, so, because if, if Twitter starts to get freaky, I'm out. I'm, I'm gone. I don't have time for that mess. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm on Twitter. I don't have a clue. Okay. I'm sending out messages. Of course, I sent it to, you know, a man. Uh, I've got him. I've got Whoopi. I've got Whoopi Goldberg, um, Jonathan Riss Myers, who has been MIA for quite some time, uh, and uh, my Henry has also been MIA for quite some time. But I don't really think it's his page anyway. So, but I'm keeping it just in case because you never know. Um, yeah, I'm I'm following people, mostly celebrities. I'm not. I, mm, I ain't doing a Kim Kardashian thing because you know, I'm I'm not all about that. But, um, yeah, I'm following the celebrities that I really like as well as, you know, I've got my other, my, 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 some of my YouTube family has found me. So, uh, yeah, but you know, don't, don't be surprised if I don't, I don't tweet to you because I, I still, I'm trying to familiarize myself with what's going on. Like, how do you follow a conversation? Am I in the conversation? I don't have a clue. So I'm still, it's still very brand new to me. I really don't think I'm going to be on it that much. Like once I get the hang of it and if I start tweeting and then nobody's tweeting me back, I'm just going to say, you know, F you. So I'm just going to just, I'll keep my account, but I, um, hmm, you know, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So yes, I have joined, I've joined late though it may be. I have joined the Twitterverse people. Okay. So let's not even front on this. Okay. Cause I got a compliment at work was like, love those lips. What are you wearing? And I was like, Oh, well, it's just, let me just get to it. Then it's L'Oreal Lilac color Lilac. And this is in the color. I lack you a lot. I lack you a lot. I've worn it before. This is not a first or a brand new thing. I've worn this before, but it is bam in your face. I mean, like on the, on the screen, I don't think it's really that bright. I think it's because the lights are hitting it and it's, it's just, it's just like pow, but it's bright. Don't get it twisted. It is bright, but on the screen, it's like, oof, ah, this is like really bright. So I didn't, I don't have a liner with these are, these are very cool. They, you don't need a liner, but I think Moving forward, I'm going to put a liner because even though this is stick to your lips, you could be in a sandstorm in Egypt with this on and it won't budge. OK, seriously. But I think because um, after, you know, it starts off with a nice sharp point, but then the point starts to get rounded and it's kind of hard to do a nice line. So moving forward, I might use a liner with it. But the thing is, I don't know if I have a liner that's even coming close to this shade. I may or may not. I'm not sure. But that's it, people. That is it. That is all. It is Friday. Thank you, God, as usual, for a four-day week. You know, time stopped it on Wednesday. So it made it like a, it just felt like a regular five-day week. It really does. Or it really did. Yeah, the week is over. So I'm done with that. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't really have anything else to tell you. Um, this weekend, I'm doing Jack. I kind of really wanted to get my hair done, like regular wash and set, and maybe even put some color in. But um, it's raining the whole weekend. So at least that's what they say. And usually, uh, the woman who does my hair, she, she does it on Sunday. 
And I'm hearing Sunday, it's going to be the worst thunderstorms and all of this, that, and the other. And I'm, hmm, I ain't leaving my house. So it's going to be another stay at home, rest and relaxation day. I got a vacuum, that much I do know, because Mr. Man, who's lying next to me over here, he doesn't feel like being on the bed today. Pillows all set, set up for him and everything. He don't care. He's lying next to me and, uh, you know, he's doing a job on my carpet. So I have to vacuum up the, the loose ends. And uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. That is it in a nutshell. I'm going to see what's on, <laughs> on demand all weekend long to see what's going on there. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it, people. I have nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. I, re I really don't. So, you know, the my new toy, my, my new Twitter is, uh, you know, up and running. I guess I'll, I'll post my, what do I post? Do I post at my name? I think, I think that's how you do it, at my name. It's my first name, lowercase, lower dash, my last name. So I guess I'll post that. But, you know, you could you could follow me, but I, I'm, I'm not really one to kind of follow back because I really don't know how long this 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 new toy of mine is going to last. I don't see it lasting much longer. I'm still in love with Facebook. I like to post what I post and just get it out there with Twitter. It's a different animal, which Devin, thank you very much for for explaining it to me. Devin gave me a good explanation. You know, it's it's out there. You you know, you could post out there, but it's really not the same as Facebook, which I didn't really expect it to be. I mean, I knew there was a difference. Obviously, Twitter is Twitter and Facebook is Facebook, but I thought there would be some kind of similarity. Then again, like I said, I am still maneuvering myself in the Twitter universe. OK, I don't know what the hell is going on. I do know this much. Um, the celebrities that I am following, I know for a fact that it's their actual page because there's a way you can find out if it's actually them or if it's just, you know, a fake. If they have a blue check next to their name, that's their real account. So my, my, my man Henry doesn't have a blue check. So it's either he's not on it which I'm assuming that's the case or the page that I do. Cause I have like three of his pages on my Twitter that I'm following. I know two of them are fan sites, but they post awesome pictures. So I like to follow to see what the next picture is going to be. Um, other than that, like Whoopi's page is her page. Jonathan Reese Meyers page is really his page. And there's a th Aiden Turner. I'm following him. Remember, I used to be all hot and bothered over Aiden. Yes, indeed, it too. And he sent out a, it wasn't a tweet. Was it a tweet? I think it was on Facebook that um, today was the first day of reading, you know, table reading for the next season. So I'm ready for Pole Dark season two. Yes, indeed, it too. Um, other than that, I'm just going to be having fun with my Twitter all, all weekend long. And I really don't do it on my phone. I mean, I get notices on my phone, but I don't tweet on my phone. I tweet on my computer because I'm having an issue getting into Twitter on my phone. I told you I need to upgrade on my damn phone, but it's good because, you know, I can, I have a bigger screen, my, my, my monitor here, so I can see things a little bit more better, more better, see things a little bit better. So I'm just kind of having fun with it, you know, but I have a feeling the fun is going to die soon. Like, you know, I, I don't, yeah. you know what I mean? And then it, like people who I have no clue who they are, they, they are following me. I don't like people following me that I don't know who they are. Okay. I'm just saying like, who are you and why are you following me? Do we know each other? Have I met you somewhere? 
Are you an old classmate of mine that I don't remember? You need to explain yourself. You can't just talk about, you know, now following or I'm following you now. So-and-so is following you now. Okay. Who is this person? So I sent him a message. Who are you? (laughs) Or is that rude? Or should I just let people follow me? I, you know. (sighs) It's really not that deep. Okay. It's really not that deep. But he's like the first person that, poof, like other friends of mine have, are following me. Rini, she's following me. But, um, who is this person? I don't know who this person is. And it kind of freaks me out a little, as you can tell. Like he boom, out of nowhere, just boom. So-and-so is following you now. What? Who are you? And why did you choose me? I mean... You in Sweden? How, how the hell? How the hell you know me from Sweden? I've never been to Sweden. I don't speak Swedish. I do eat Swedish meatballs though, cause they are so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. But other than that, so yeah, I'm going to like all weekend long try to familiarize myself around the Twitter world. But I have sent out some tweets. Trying to get the lingo down, people. Trying to be cool. Trying to be all up and cool about it. So I've sent out some tweets. Really haven't gotten much of a response. But, you know. And here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not too, mm, I'm not too fond of about Twitter. I don't know if there's a way that you could go about it. But when you send out a tweet, like to a specific person, why does the rest of the world have to know what it is that you're tweeting? Like, why do the other people that are following you, well, I guess in order for them to jump into the conversation, if they want to jump into the conversation, they would have to see what you're tweeting, right? But it's, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, suppose I want to send a tweet to Henry. I don't want nobody to know, which I've already done. So whoever's following me, I guess has already figured it out. But moving forward, Does everybody have to know what I'm tweeting? There's a sense of, uh, you know, a lack of privacy in in, in the Twitter world a little bit. You know, I'm just saying. Not that he is ever going to tweet me back, by the way. Whoopi, however, has been known to tweet back people on occasion. Because she'll say it on, on The View, if you watch. She sometimes says, I'm not on it. And then she'll sometimes say she's on it and... In and out. I know if I can find Raven Simone, that girl tweets like nobody. She she tweets 24-7 because she's on Facebook 24-7. And her tweets go on Facebook. I don't know how it works, people. Like she connected her Facebook to her Twitter account. So what she tweets, sometimes it'll come up on Facebook. That chick, she is heavily into the Twitter world. Heavily. But, you know, she's a youngin'. She's like 30. I am 51. Then again, everybody that I'm I'm following, other than Whoopi, Whoopi is, I think, 10 years older than me. So, you know, she's of my generation, of my ilk. Everybody else that I'm following. Remember Jamie Campbell Bauer? I was all up his butt. I'm following him now. You never know. I can be falling asleep one day and then the thing buzzes and it'll be Henry tweeting me back or Jamie tweeting me back or Whoopi tweeting me back. I want somebody to tweet me back, some celebrity, so I can, you know, feel important somehow. You have to understand, people, I was a drama major, okay? I never made it into the show business world because I didn't really stick with it. But it, deep down, I am still a fellow thespian. Thespian. Let's get the word right. Okay. That's a T-H-E-S-P-I-A-N. Okay. Thespian. Nothing else. So it's still deep within my soul. But um, so that's why I like to follow celebrities because I want to see what they're doing. I want to see what's going on. I'm all in their business. You never know. Okay. Like you, you never know. Like, I have a story 
which I didn't finish my other story. Okay, I just stopped that one completely. But I got another one buzzing in my head. It's been buzzing in my head for two or three days now. It's just zzz, every minute of the day, something. I'm, I'm going, oh, that, that sounds, that looks like a good scene. And scene, when I mean scene, I'm talking about like the way it's playing out in my head. Like I see it as a movie and I can write it down as a, as a book, but I don't have the beginning of it. Like I sort of think I have the beginning of it, but it's got to work its kinks out. But I see the whole thing working out as a movie. You know what I mean? And of course, Henry's in it. So, okay. So, you know, I kind of see it progressing, but I really don't know if I want to write the story down. I don't know if it's just a fantasy in my head, which most likely it probably is. I don't know if it's, if, if it stays in my head for a very long time, then I know, okay, it's trying to tell me I need to write this down, but it just kind of, it just kind of popped into my head. And I don't know if I want to write it down or not. It's kind of interesting though. It's, it's, it's interesting. And I was thinking about it this morning while I was getting dressed and everything. And by the way, not that we have forgotten. It is 9-11. I have to actually tell you this morning I woke up and I was all about my business and I totally forgot that it was 9-11 until I turned on my radio. And they were talking about, you know, what happened. And I said, I can't. I can't do it. So I turned off my radio and I, you know, cause I like to listen to music when I'm getting dressed, it kind of pumps me up. So I just listened to my, the music that I have, my, my playlist on YouTube. I just played that and I was in a very, very good mood until I got to work and you know, CNN's got to be on from nine to five thirty. So they, they had in and out news and they, you know, they, they talked about nine 11 and all of that. And I was like, okay. I just got, I muted it a little bit because I just, you want me to sit there all day? What do you want me to just break down in tears while I'm answering the phone? I can't. I cannot. I am blessed beyond belief that I did not lose anybody on that day. Thank you, Jesus. My, my uncle was on his way to work and for something, some reason, something told him, eh, you shouldn't go to work today. And he didn't. And I praise that guardian angel whatever tapped him on the shoulder and said, just turn around and go home. <sighs> so thankful. So thankful. But other than that, you know, I, 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 it, it weighs heavily from September until December. It's, it's rough. It's kind of rough. It's rough September wise because of nine 11. It's rough October wise because my mother passed away in October. So, you know, it's, and I also lost my job in October, a job that I'd been at for 17 years. So that's still, you know, that still is a bit of a kick in the gut. I've since sort of forgotten about it, but it still hurts a little bit. And of course, I lost my mother and I lost my job within that same month, only a couple of weeks apart. So yeah, October's kind of rough. October's kind of rough. And then there's November, which is Thanksgiving. And then there's December, Christmas, which is just another day. And uh, the new year, which is just another day. And then we go into 2016. Now, 2016 is going to be rather interesting. It is an interesting year for two reasons that I am aware of. 2016 means another Olympics. Summer Olympics 2016, people. Yes. So I'm all about that. Then March of 2016. Batman versus Superman comes out. Hello. Ben Affleck. I think I'm following him too. And Henry Cavill. Okay, I'm just saying. And it's already noted. I'm already prepared. I'm already prepared to not be disappointed because I'm, I'm already aware of it. The director, I think his name is Zack Snyder, already let us know that there will be more of Batman in the movie than Superman. So I will be seeing Henry Cavill, but I won't be seeing him as much as Ben Affleck. So it's a, it's a Batman heavy movie. So it's really Ben that's sort of going to be carrying the movie. It's not equal to Henry. Like they're not carrying it together. I mean, Henry will play his part, but Ben, it's mostly a Batman movie. It's Batman. It's, that's the reason why it's called Batman versus Superman as opposed to Superman versus Batman. So Zack Snyder already let us know ahead of time on Facebook that it's going to be a Batman heavy. 
because I think the studio wanted it that way. Warner Brothers, I think, wanted it to be more Batman heavy than Superman. So bring on 2016, honey. And then here's another thing. My aunt is buzzing around on everybody's email talking about there's going to be a family cruise in November of 2016. I don't have dime one. Do you understand how long it takes to save money for a cruise? I have to save at least over $2,000. $2, over $2,000. That's to pay for the cabin. That's to pay with tips. If I want to buy anything outside when we get off the ship. And the ship is going to Haiti. Cap Haitien, Haiti. I have never been to Cap Haitien, Haiti. And the last time I was in Haiti was 1977 or 1978. So, do you think I want to go on this trip? Hell to the yeah. I want to go on this trip. <sighs> so yeah, 2016 already is laden with things that I'm looking forward to, but yet this cruise, because I think I missed the last, did I miss the last family cruise? There was a family cruise that I missed because I was, out, I think I was out of a job. I was, I was unemployed at the time. And I said I wasn't going to miss the next one. But here comes the next one. Like, you're never ready. You're never ready for it. You're just you're just never ready. And she's like, yup, November of 2016. I was like, what the hell? And I'm reading this email. And I'm waiting for everybody else to respond because I'm not going to be the first one to talk about, yeah, I'll be there. Because I don't know if I'll be there or not. I don't have dime one for a cruise. I'm still trying to pay off some credit cards. And you're talking about a cruise. What? Pressure already. Pressure already for 2016. The family cruise is kind of... It, it, it. If she had said cruise for 2017, I would have said, oh, okay. We, I've got a whole... I can do, save all of 2016 for 2017. Had you talked about a cruise for 2016 in January of 2015 of this year, then I would have said, oh, okay, I need to, need to save, need to save, need to save. And then by the time... But we almost in 2016, and, and before you know it, boom, November of 2016 is going to be here. Am I going to be financially ready? We shall see. Or am I going to miss another family cruise, which I do not want to do, okay? So pray for me, people. Pray for me, but I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm not going to lose sleep over it now. Just do my best to save as much as I can, okay? So yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's all. That is it. That's all. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Please let me know what you think of this puppy. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing, people. You know, I spoke about the, um, here we go. I spoke about this yesterday that I absolutely adore. This NYX liquid. Well, this face has my new one. I just wanted to test it out. This is the L'Oreal. Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. And this one is in the color golden. Yep, that's what it's called, golden. So, because I figured the golden would go with the orange that I'm wearing as opposed to the rose, to the gleam. Because this is more pinky, obviously, you could tell the difference. There is a little bit of a difference in the packaging. Just a slight touch. One is more pinky. This is more pinky. This one right here is more pinky. This one is more golden. So I just wanted to test it out, mixed it with my Aveeno, mixed it with that, gave me this, and I'm all a glowy with my pixie. So yes, I'm very happy with the look, in case you haven't figured that out. I am quite happy with the way I am a glowy, okay? So y'all let me know what you think. All right, so this is the lip of the day. You cannot miss them. You can find me in the dark. Can't miss it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to do for the weekend. And uh, I'll be doing absolutely nothing except tweetering around. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just, you know, just trying to. It's like going into a maze and everybody's already, you know, 
where they're supposed to be, and I'm just now trying to figure it out. Late to the party. Late to the party. Okay, so I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the look. If if you even even see a difference. I don't if you even even see a difference. If you even see a difference, sometimes I do catch myself. Like yesterday, I apologize profusely because I kept talking about, yes, this is cherry picking, this is cherry picking, and yesterday was Sugar Plum Fairy. That's why the title was different. And I hope you saw the annotation that I put. No, it's not cherry picking, it's Sugar Plum Fairy. So I got that all wrong. So it was Sugar Plum Fairy was the lip look for yesterday, but I just kept calling it cherry picking because, oh, I just knew it was cherry picking. Yes, you getting old. You need to just look up stuff, okay? You think you know something and you don't know squat because your brain is not as smart as it used to be because you're getting old, girl. It's a hard realization, but you have to come to grips with it. Y'all will know when you get there because I know I'm older than dirt. I'm older than half of y'all over there, so... In any event, I am going to enjoy my weekend just relaxing and relaxing, okay? I hope you do the same. Let me know what you think. And I will definitely, 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 God willing, talk to you on Monday, okay? Bye now.